kind of late posting this video, ladies and gentlemen, but this is my cornbread dressing, and I wanted to share this recipe with you. Does that not look beautiful? Oh, yes. Yeah, go ahead and like the video, share the video with friends and family. Come on in and subscribe to the channel. All right, before we get started, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Yes, look at this. This is our cornbread dressing, y'all. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Connie's Cooking Channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We are going to make cornbread dressing, not stuffing. And we're going to put some chicken inside of it, and it's going to be delicious. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. So unlike my other videos, we're just going to start cooking immediately. I'm just going to show you what I have behind me. Anything that has bell peppers and onions and celery is a winner in the kitchen, y'all. Let's go ahead and saute this and get this party started. Now, I do have the oven preset for 350 degrees. Like I said, we're just going to saute our veggies for about five minutes. I like the crunchiness of the vegetables in my cornbread dressing. Now, if you want, I've done this another way as well. I will mix all my vegetables inside of my cornbread and let it cook that way as well. So it's really an option for you. You can either let it saute this way. I've also just put it in whole into the dressing. So it's a couple options, it's really up to you. But today we're just gonna let this saute, like I said, about five minutes. And then we also have um, two rotisserie chickens that I purchased from the grocery store. I'll show you that as well. So the vegetables has been cooking about three minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna give it another two minutes. I just want to let you know, I have about two cups of celery, two cups of bell pepper, and I have one large onion, medium to large onion in here. So it equaled about a cup full. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the tenderness we're looking for. When nice and soft, just like that, okay? And we're gonna take this off the fire. I did not use any oil, ladies and gentlemen, with this, what we call the Trinity, bell pepper, celery, and onions. That's how you start a gumbo too, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go ahead and get this party started to the next step. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had to pull the bowl closer to me so you can actually see what I'm doing. You definitely just want to come in here and just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure you get it all blended in. No large pieces. And we're just gonna do this until we get all the cornbread incorporated. With the chicken and the seasonings and we're gonna be good to go. So just keep doing this until, like I said, we mix all the cornbread very well into this bowl. And this is gonna make a good serving, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have everything incorporated into our mixing bowl. Now we're gonna just scoop in our veggies. <laughs> it's nothing but flavor. <laughs> it's added flavor. So you definitely want to cool off your vegetables. Oh yes. Yeah, I know. Connie has to have her vegetables. <laughs> 
gotta have the veggies. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Good way to sneak it in to your kids. <laughs> I may have to get a larger bowl, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see. We're going to work with this one. So look at that. That's after we added in the trinity, the celery, the bell peppers, and the onions. Now we're going to add in our soups. I have a can of cream of celery. Okay, and we also need a can of cream of chicken. Now don't toss your cans yet. I'm gonna show you a trick how to get all that soup out of the bottom of your cans, okay? Let me grab a smaller scooper here. So I can actually get inside of there. There we go. That's better. Work harder. Work smarter, not harder, right? <laughs> I'm going to go back in and get the rest of that out of that cream of celery can. As much as I possibly can. Now, use some chicken broth, just a tad bit, pour it inside the cans, wiggle it around, and get the remaining soup from your cans. Now stir it around in this can here first. Now what we're gonna do is pour it into the other can and that is how you get your can really clean. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, I got rid of those two cans. And now we are going to basically blend this in. Cause we're gonna add in some more seasonings in here eventually, or we may just leave it as is. Right now, we are going to add in some chicken broth. And I'm gonna measure this for you, ladies and gentlemen, cause we don't want it too watery. So let's start with about, about a half a cup of chicken broth. We're just going to give this a stir. You don't want it too moist and you don't want it too dry. So that's one cup. Now I want to add in some Petridge Farm herb seasoned cube stuffing. So if you were just making stuffing, you probably just use this alone. But we're going to blend it in with this. We got about a cup full. That's going to give it a lot of seasonings, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm just gonna mix this in very well. I'm gonna go off camera and keep stirring. And when I come back, I'll let you know if I added additional cubes of stuffing. 
or any more liquid in here. So, so far it's looking pretty good. It looks like the only thing I probably will need is maybe a half a cup more of the chicken broth. So let me finish blending this together and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna use this glass dish here and coat the bottom sides. On the other side, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to dish in, yes, our cornbread dressing, not stuffing. <laughs> and you do want to taste it, like I said, making cornbread dressing the most important thing is the sage. So make sure you use plenty of sage. Don't be scared. <laughs> and we're just gonna spread this out on the top, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to even it out some. Scrape the bottom of our bow. And our oven is already preset for 350 degrees. This will go in the oven for about 45 minutes to one hour until it's nice and golden brown, ladies and gentlemen. It has a nice crust on the outside. It's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to put this in the oven. See you back shortly. I let it set in here. Stayed in here for one hour and a half. One hour, 30 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. What do y'all think? Is that beautiful cornbread dressing? Remember, it's not stuffing. Now, I normally let mine sit for about a half hour before I actually dig into it. You know, like lasagna, you gotta let it sit there. Some people use eggs to hold it together. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. this is the cornbread dressing. Look at all those seasonings inside of there and that meat, that rotisserie chicken, y'all. This is a meal by itself. You got your veggies in there, you got some bread, and of course you have a ton of meat. Y'all yeah, go ahead and like the video, share the video with your friends and family, share, 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 share. We're almost to our next milestone of 6,000 subscribers. We can do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't done so already, leave a comment or your question below and hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. Until then, thank you for watching the video. God bless you. Y'all have a wonderful evening and I will see you on the next video upload.